evening, Philippines, and welcome to your continuing coverage of the 2021 PBL Open Conference. And this is coming to you from the PCV Socio Civic and Cultural Center in Bacara, Ilocos Norte. You're watching us live on One Sports and One Sports Plus. This is the first and only professional volleyball league in our country. Match. Number 45 in game day number 20. This is the last that we are going to see in our eliminations for your first and only professional volleyball league. The Signal HD Spikers looking to snap their sixth game skid and end on a very positive note against this Black Mamba energy drink, Army Lady Troopers. Hello everyone, Mix Gomez at your service alongside the one and the only Ivy Remulia. Hello Ivy. Hello, Mix. Another exciting evening. Like you said, this would be the last day for the elimination. So I'm sure that both of these teams are hungry, you know, to be the last winner yes. for the last game. Very special last winner of our eliminations, Black Mamba Army. Three and five, Signal HD. They do want to avoid that bottom of the standings because if, if they do lose this, they also lost against Perlas. Mm -hmm. So sila yung magiging uh, pinakahuli talaga. But of course... Uh, Coach Shaq and company would like to get that victory as you mentioned. There you see Mumay Vivas, one of the veterans from the Signal HD team. May Luna, one of the leading scorers. And of course, their team captain, Rachel Dakis, who was able to see action after missing out in the previous game. Ivy, you covered this just last night. Yes. DP versus Signal HD. What happened? That's right. So it was actually a three-set victory of PLDP over Signal. You know, uh, Signal had a little had a little difficulty starting off the set. Third set, they all they got their bearings back. However, what PLDP proved to be a bit more consistent in the game, and you can see the scores for the games last night. It was um, it was completely uh, PLD, PLDP who was dominating all three sets. But uh, Signal has really shown some some uh, good comebacks. Mm -hmm. It was just that, you know, these happened too late towards the set. This is one of the consistent players for Signal in the conference. The second leading scorer, Rose Pindoria. Number four in blocks in the league and number 10 in serves. So Ivy, how impressed are you with Roslyn in the conference? Actually, you know, she was one of the surprises, you know, for Signal because we've had we see a, f a lot of familiar names that we have thought that would really uh, give in all the scores for Signal. But uh, Rose Doria has been one of those consistent uh, members of the squad that has been delivering for, for Signal. And last, the game that he had against PLDT, she scored six points. And I think, you know, being able to activate the middle for Signal has been very crucial for them in to get all in the points. Because the outside hitters, more or less, predicted na eh, mm -hmm. na sa kanila ibibigay ang bola. Speaking of outside hitters, there is the team captain, Rachel Adak, is ready to go up against her former teammate, Jovelin Gonzaga, for tonight. That's isn't in. We were able to talk to her beforehand. For us, naranasan namin tong nandito kami sa baba ngayon, but ang daming lesson eh, ang daming uh, mga, ma, mga bao na madadala namin pa uwi ng Manila na alam namin dun kami mag-grow, na alam namin dun kami mabubo as a whole, as a team. And in, we will never stop para matupad yung dreams namin na makabalik ulit kami at mabigay namin yung talagang totoong laro namin. Yung mindset towards this game, syempre yung Gonzaga dyan, ang lakas nun eh. Teammate ko yun since 2011. So, uh, as a professional, syempre bibigay namin yung job yung best namin para sa team namin. Then after nun, yun na ulit, balik Rachel and jobs na ulit. But with this game, bibigay namin yung best namin at maglalaro kami para sa team namin. Grabe, almost a decade, mm -hmm. Ivy, na magkakampi. Right. Ngayon, maglalaban sila for the first time. That's right. So, we can, we can imagine you know, how well they know each other in terms of playing. So, I guess that's going to be a bit more difficult. You know, how you overcome each other. Eh, kabisadong kabisado nyo ng isa't isa. Now, let's go to the Black Mamba Energy Drink. Army Lady Troopers in the previous match against the Perla Spikers. Very good output mula sa kanilang mga attackers. Then, Emnas had 23 excellent sets giving out to four scorers in double figures. There you see Jovelin Gonzaga on your screen. And this team, they're looking for a big, big win. Then, siyempre, Ivy, as they try to close it out in the conference. That's right. So, uh, of course, you would want to end this conference in a high note. They don't have 
uh, any chances anymore to be in the semifinals. Pero syempre, you, know, you want to be as motivated as you can. And their last game at Perla Spikers, you can see how motivated you know, the Black Mamba team is. So they were able to get this in four sets. It was a pretty tight game, but the last set was pretty convincing. Na talagang gusto talagang makuha itong Team Army ang panalo. Coach Kung Fu said that their team was relaxed and good in the previous game. Speaking of relaxed and good, silent operator tayo, John Bunag, one of the veterans, of course, of this squad, coming out with 11 big points. He has been the fourth leading scorer in the conference as well for the Army. That's right. And you know, probably she's one of the more underrated players on the side of Army. But yun nga, napatunayan niya what she can do with a double-digit score, 11 points against that game versus Perlas. And definitely, you know, uh, the uh, Lady Troopers would really need a lot of help from all the veterans. And then si Jovelyn Gonzaga, we're sure that she would bring in the points. Uh, honey, Tobino would be there as well. Pero yun nga, yung mga gulat na binibigay nito mga veterans. So this is what really the Black Mamba team needs. Black Mamba Army looking for win number four tonight. There you see Rachel Andakis' former teammate, Jovelyn Gonzaga. Let's hear what she has to say. Sobrang halaga siya kasi parang ulitin ko nga yung interview ko last time na um, ang bilin sa amin ni, ng director namin, ni Colonel Makasayit na um, may panalo lang namin ang last two remaining games, magkakaroon kami ng um, graceful exit. So parang moral booster din sa team. Ang sarap din talaga talaga manal, umuwi ng panalo, ba So yun talaga yung goal namin ngayon and masecured namin yung six spot. So um, yun ganun ka-importante na maipanalo namin ang game na to. And siguro yung pride, pride ng team. Actually, this past, ilang days na ba kami, mga two days kami din nag-uusap niya mula. Siguro nag-focus kami sa kanya-kanya namin, ano din, role din. Um, uh, tulad nga ng pinag-usapan namin dati ni Ate Rachel na um, change is, is inevitable. Andiyan na talaga yan. So, um, kailangan lang talaga namin din i-embrace. And maging, mag-perform kaming dalawa professionally. Charot! So, kailan kami ng kanya-kanyang team namin ngayon. So, mag-perform kami para sa kanya-kanyang team namin. Basta assured and secured naman yung friendship namin dalawa, di ba? After nito. So, ayun. Ayun, ayun. So, excited ako sa game mamaya. Well, they definitely look very excited, mm -hmm. Ivy. Interview pa lang, mukhang game na game na sila to go up against each other. That's right. And I think it's a good sign, you know, when there's excitement being felt by the player or the athlete because that can also be something that we can see mm -hmm. with the performance. May isa pa silang pangahawakan in their last game of the conference. Again, this is the last match in our eliminations with Sabino and company. Oh, looking good <laughs> in right. her last performance. Sabino has been exited in the season. The top scorer for Black Mamba Energy Drink, the Army Lady Troopers, number seven in the league. Just trailing the likes of Eliza Valdez, mm -hmm. NJ Phillips, Kato Nintino, and everyone else. Even Jovelin Gonzaga is also ranked number eight. So a lot of firepower with this squad. That's right. And let's not forget also that this is a more experienced team compared to Signal. Because Signal had to uh, revamp the team and a lot of younger players on the lineup now for Signal. So I think you experience talaga would really count a lot here for Black Mamba. And to your point, Coach Shaq, one of his uh, inter interviews no, conducted before this game, she said yeah, that they really took their time transitioning Coach Shaq as a head coach, their setter, Ayel Estranjero. You have young guns like May mm -hmm. Luna. Diba? But we all know the caliber mula sa UAP. Ganda na pinakita ng mga to. That's right. And you know, these are the things that they will bring on to this professional league. And as they go along with all the different games, the experience that they gain, yan yung mga magiging mas importanteng uh, baon nila as they go back. You know, to the, uh, once this, this league finishes, when they go back to their homes, so experience it was really what's going to matter. Let's go to our announcer and Will Zarate for our referees and starters. And now let's meet the starters first for the Black Mamba Army Lady Troopers. Outside Spiker from the Far Eastern University, number three, Joanne Buda. Bill Blocker from the University of Santo Tomas, number four, Tim Francisco. Bill Blocker also from UST, number five, King Balse Papayo. Opposite hitter from Central Philippines University, number eight, team captain, Chomini Gonzaga. Outside Spider from the University of Perpetual Health, number 15, Royce Tupino. Center from Anderson University, number 17, Fen Elnas. And a starting numero from Rizal Technological University, number 10, Angela Luna. Head coach for the Lady Troopers is Kung Fu Emilio Reyes Jr. And now the 
See the starters for the Black Mamba Energy Drink Army Lady Troopers. We're seeing Team Francisco inserting back in. And coming off the bench in their previous event. And that's also getting the start instead of uh, Jake Gonzalez for the Army Lady Troopers. And then for the Signal HD Spikers, Rachel Andak is starting once again for their squad. And uh, Fiona Ceballos back starting for their squad after see uh, Garisa Abriang had back to back starts for Signal HD. Again, this is the last match of our eliminations here in the 2021 ABL Open Conference. That only means tomorrow at 2 p.m. semifinals. Na po ang action na ating mawapanood sa One Sports and One Sports Plus. Right now, the Army Lady Troopers looking for win number four against the Signal HD Spikers. They're looking to snap their six-game losing streak. First point to go to Black Mamba Army. Marshana trying to swipe that one out from the hands of the blocker. No, no touch. There's Ben Emnas who had 23 of the red sets in the previous match. Ayer is not here. The other set is seen on the floor. Gonzaga on the opposite sent back. They go to Joan Buna. We talked about her in the pregame. Coming out at the start. So that hit from Joan Buna touched the hands of the blocker. Usually, you know, it's a difficult kinds of hits to keep alive because you won't really know which direction the ball will go. Great start for Joan Buna. Got 11 points in the previous match. We mentioned fourth leading scorer for the Army Lady Troopers. This time, it's out. On the strong hit, supposedly, Mulaki Rose in Doria. That was good. It's actually a good play from Signal. And uh, siguro konti clip pa ng yes, if that made the line, that would actually be a good play. Three points to begin for the Lady Troopers. Marciano will send it over. Chance ball here. The Black Mamba Army, they go to the middle, and that's a check for Atigin. So far, go so good here for Black Mamba Army. What a great start for the Lady Troopers to see what the Shaq and Sigmund will do. Try to adjust. Well, obviously, that was a necessary timeout mm. no? after uh, four straight points coming right. in for Army. But what are you seeing, Ivy, for right now for Signal? You know, compared to how they started off in their previous game right, against uh, the game against PLDP, this is actually a stronger start for Signal. So we see more energy from the girls. So this, just, you know, the, the, the errors just uh, are coming in their way. But definitely better movement mm -hmm. you know and i think if they're just able to correct those errors this will be a better game for them than uh, their team against the other team signal trying to get their first point against the four of the lady troopers here is here bunag send it over and another point goes to the army not the strongest of hits from bunag no but again and that hit touched the hand of the blocker no coverage Off to a great start. Roslyn Doria not able to get the, that goal on the return. So, Finn Emnas Barin on it to serve. And there you go. The first point finally for the Signal HD Spikers off a service error. Now it's important now for Signal to make sure that you know they, make, they convert 
their attacks. Uh, this would be the, the point that they have right now is courtesy of an error mm -hmm. from Army. So they have to a point, you know, just to lift up the spirit. They need to start it off. Yes. Can they do it right now? Unfortunately, that's a net touch against them. Another error. So these errors are actually costing signal. Like I said, they go on to say, uh, contradicting, you know, they're moving better. It's just that they're committing the error. Yes. One to six, the score right now. That is to send it over. Still no solid attack from mm -hmm. the HD Spikers. And this time around, Jovelin Gonzaga will make the pay. Good angle from Jovelin Gonzaga. You have to remember, she's a lefty. So you adjustment both at the defense, at the net and the floor defense. Kailangan nandiyan yan. Gonzaga giving us our spike of the set. Brought to you by Duncan. You all know how good she is. Mm -hmm. The thing about Jov also is marunong kasi siyang bumasa ng butas. Eh. So if you see, he doesn't always give the strongest of hits, but she knows where to bring the ball. Again, Gonzaga, number eight in the league in scoring. And then, at that point, the net defense working for Black Mamba Army. First technical timeout, eight to one, our score. Eight to one hour score, a great start for the Army Lady Troopers. We're looking for the solid attacks of Signal. Back set, Ayel will go to Marciano, but that is long. So the string of errors on the side of Signal continuing to plague them. So they need to put a stop or you know recover from these errors. Otherwise, you know, Black Mamba will just continue on inching away with the score. Now it's 9 to 1. So Ambunag back at the service line. One of the best servers back in the UAEP as well. Tipped over by Marciano. And finally, Signal will score off an attack. Good adjustment from Marciano. Again, if they're having problems with a strong hit, then you know, that, pro that could have been a smart uh, decision from her, no? Denis Marciano, the leading scorer for Signal HD. That's the second leading scorer with mm -hmm. Rostin Boria on your screen. Army goes to Gonzaga, sent back. Net defense working for Signal. And now, slowly, they're building on their momentum. Julia Ipa. So very consistent in the conference as the fifth leading scorer of Signal HD. Tobino. That defense is there again. Back to Royce. Try to go for the off speed. The Wabu Sakabila. So error on the part of Army gives Signal a three point. Three straight points for the Signal HD. This is what they're looking for after being down by eight. Gloria again serving. Tenth best in the league. I'm so sorry as I say that she gets a service error. <laughs> she just thinks it. Oh, I apologize, Rustin. <laughs> momentum to sila eh. Ten to four. Game ball si Pabayo. The great stories here in the PBL Open Conference. 
it's great to see her play, no, for right. Black Mamba Art. That's still. right. Back set, Francisco that is wide. Another point goes to Signal. Francisco picking it up. Mm -hmm. Marshall now will serve. Also great to see her play. Had to recover from a knee injury in 2017. At the middle, Ben Francisco. That's what she's known for. That's right. A good play here from Army. Our Duncan spike of the set by Ben Francisco. We were talking about players that we're happy to see play. It's a galing din sa ACL mm -hmm. injury in her UAP days. Right, so it's really good to see how they recover. Na makita mo talaga yung resilience din ito mga players natin. That they really want to go back. Now it's Rachel and Dakis on the attack. Great to see her perform. Rachel had to sit out one of the games because of a groin injury. It's a groin strain. That is against Green Line. Last game against PLDT. Able to start for Signal HD. Bruno, sorry, that's Kubino to send it over. Ipa on the run. Nuna goes back to Kubino. That is way out. Another three point here for Signal. Bautista checking in for Royce Tobino. 11 to 7 the score. And the Sydney HD was down 1 to 9 to begin this match. Ennas to the 1 2 and she will score. Great presence of mind from Ennas. Not the tallest of players. Anything you need to score? Mm -hmm. 12 to 7, and Bautista the service time. Ayel, and to Ceballos, set back with recognition. Piola again, takes it over. And she finds that hole at the middle. So recovery for right. Black Mamba Army. But that was a smart move from Piola Ceballos. You have to remember, she used to be a beach volleyball player, so talagang yung Yung eye niya to, to be able to spot the holes. Something should be expected from her. Lead down to four. Scramble here for the army. Chance ball. Ayel goes to the middle. Doria will score. Good attack from Doria. Yeah, slowly but surely. ID, we're seeing Signal H pick things up. Time out here called by the Army Lady Troopers lead down to three. CIV communication. Right. That's true. And it's really very important, you know, like you have to commit. Got it. That, that, uh, Army has a, has, a, has a good start. But again, you can see that the problem is the problem now is the communication. Eh. You know, they see where the ball is going, but they don't want to get out of it. They don't want to get Signal trying to close in, down by three. Keep up with the serve. Attack points, three in favor of the R. Now it's a check ball. Going back to Joan Budak. That has worked for them to uh, start of this right. match. Right. actually had a good start here for uh, Army. Francisco on the serve. Ayel goes to Doria, sent back. Back row, Dakis does not go over the net. 
Again, Sigma having a little difficulty converting their attacks. So they're playing catch up right here, so the errors really need to be avoided. That was their problem from the get go. Mm -hmm. They had the momentum, unfortunately, with a good timeout for Coach Kung Fu Kanigani Nalang. It's a five point lead for Black Mamba Army. Gotta love the determination mula kay Rachel mm. and Dakis. Right. You all heard that. Babawi ni agad yun. Well, of course, if you're the, the captain, you're the team of the team captain, you really have you know, to stand up and for the team. Kasi syempre, ikaw yung titik nun eh. Yes. The veterans of Sigma, Jack Jack Ginella. Francisco again to serve. Up by five. Estranjero will go to Ceballos. Middle, Ding Balse Pabayo rejected at the net. Good blocking from Signal. So at least they have that going to their right. defense. But at this point, one of the things that Signal really needs to work on also is their first ball. You know, just to give them more options and opportunities uh, for, for their attacks. To try to make Ayel Estranjero's life a little bit easier, unfortunately. Ben Emnas again scoring on the 1 2. Right. Great recognition by Emnas. Second time around in the first set, up by five. May Luna takes it up to Ceballos. Ball up high. Ben goes to Bunag. Again on the off speed. Tamang basa lang para sa veteranong si Joan Bunag. 16 to 10, second technical timeout in the first set. Last match for our eliminations in the 2021 PBL Open Conference. Tomorrow we begin with the semifinals at 2 p.m. Green Line versus Petrogas. And then at 5 p.m. Chocomucho versus Cherry Tigo. Combination for Signal. Great attack. And they have a chance ball. Estranjero goes to the opposite. Kept alive. Jovelin. It's working again for Signal HD. John Bunag of Speed Mule. Marciano. Amutan will send it over. Emnas back to Bunag. And John Bunag has been very effective tonight. That's right. The blocking is having difficulty trying to stop the attacks of John Bunag. I think, you know, every time you go up against her, you need to have very tight blocks. And the blockers do not leave any space in between. Mm -hmm. John Duna, very experienced. One of the best attackers in the UAAP. A three-time champion as well with FEU. Marciano sent back. Fiola, Bunag, try to kill it. And here's Janine. Marciano will score on the open. That's very much needed by Signal right now. Mm -hmm. 
kind of giving us our spike with the set brought to you by Dunkin. That's the power that we know that she has. Eleven serving, 17. Viola Ceballos starting her third game of the conference for Signal HD. Set over by Buna, ball up high. Castanero will give it up to Dacus. Chance for the Army. Combination, Jovelin will score. Off the hands of uh, Rachel Dacus. Was she apologizing to her teammates or to Dacus on that one? <laughs> Dakis also had a smile when right. huh? she was trying to block for it. 18 serving 11. John Buna, 5 attack points. Good save by Amutan. Oh wow, it went straight to Doria. Solid block by Ying Balse. Ying Balse, Papayo coming up in the middle. I thought she almost skipped the conference, but she said, Parang dugo na sa akin mm. ang pagbabalibol. One of my favorite things coming in from our veterans. Dakis will send it over. Emnas on to Balse Pabayo. Kept alive. Dakis will send it. Ben will go to Jovelin. Another point. Gonzaga once again here for Black Mamba Army. Of Rachel and Dakis. Such a luxury you know, for Ben Emnas to have all these options. Right. And you can re really see how much uh, Emnas has been distributing mm -hmm. the attacks here for Army. Ben Emnas getting the start over Jane Gonzalez. Pushed over by Marciano. Chance ball. Ayel on the quick. Roslyn Doria scores. The middles also being activated mm -hmm. by Ayel Estrenero. How important are they, Ivy, for Signal HD? Well, so far, you know, we've seen in terms of in the on paper, we've seen that the, 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 the highest scorers for Signal are actually the middle attackers. So that means they're very effective for as long as they're able to activate them. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've been saying that what's important for Signal Talaga is they have the first ball for in order for Sanyero to be able to set up their middle, middle attackers. That time around, successful for Signal HD. Janine Marciano scoring, trimming the lead down to seven points. Outside hitter, a score sa at this time around. There's your leading scorer coming alive. Emnas will go to the open. Bautista, Estranjero, and Tudakis. Great attack, no more recovery para kina Tin Agno. Signal HD still not pulling away. Jovelin, wow, that's a, that was a tough attack right there. That's right, it was actually already a brick ball for them, but still, Gonzaga managed to convert that into a point. I mean, look at the action. She was really, she was actually not in position anymore. Oh. pa nga, pagbaba. Galing, galing, 21 to 14. Top set for Estranjero onto Ipac, and then Tim Francisco will make the pay. Quick thinking from Tim Francisco. That was by Gonzaga and Francisco working together. Oh, Mr. Steve. In Batsa Pabayo being granted a service ace, two points away from their first set win. And that is tried to chase that ball, unfortunately. To no, to no avail for Signal HD. There's another service ace. Ging 
Basica by just finding the corner. From the USD standout, rookie of the year in her days. Ooh, Estanero. That was a tough angle as well for Ayel. First set will go to the Black Mamba Energy Drink Army Lady Troopers. Again, the attackers being activated by Finn Emnas and company. 25 to 14 after one. Welcome back to your PVL 2021 Open Conference, the last of our elimination round matches. Signal HD dropping the first set against Black Mamba Army. A great start from the Army Lady Troopers, led by John Bunag and company. Ito si Natiola Ceballos and company. Nagparamdam din at the middle part of the set, but ultimately, Army nagtapos with the balanced scoring mula kina King Balse Pabayo. That's right. So Signal really played catch up all throughout set number one. And uh, I think one of the factors here is that Army really distributed the ball very well. You know, they had higher percentage of converting their attacks. The variation made it difficult for Signal. On the other hand, para naman sa Signal, they're having difficulty trying to convert points from all the attempts in their attacks. And we can see here the numbers from um, set number one. Army leading the way with 15 attack points is only to com uh, compared to eight only from Signal. Both had two blocks apiece. And uh, Army did better at the service line with two aces. So the unforced errors may not be as much, but these are points that matter, especially like on the side of Signal. You know, if you're playing catch-up all the time, you really have to avoid the errors. And we felt that at the start of this match, they were down 1-9 to nine to begin with, mm -hmm. making it already difficult for them to catch, to catch up. But still a good chance for them to, to try to get things going at set number 2. The Signal HD Spikers looking to snap their 6 game skid and exit on a positive note. But of course, the Army Lady Troopers are thinking the same as well as they gun for win number four in the last game of elimination. Fix Gomez, Ivy Remulia at your service here on One Sports and One Sports Plus Service Ace to get things going for Ayel Estranjero in Signal HD in set number two. It's a good thing to see if you're Coach Shaq and Signal HD to start things off on a good note here in set number two. Espanero serving again. Emnas on to Balse Pabayo. Good recognition. Pabalios. Again, those errors. You know, these are what they need to avoid. I think it's better that you send the ball to the other side kahit walang hindi malakas, wala effort, rather than having the ball die at the side of your court. Yes. Sayang, no? baka mm. ano pa mangyari sana. That's right. We will never know. Sabalis, mm -hmm. send it over to Marciano, the cross court. Agnon is there comfortably. Brunag. And here comes Janine Marciano. At the middle, there was a hole. 
Marshana really playing very aggressively here. Take a look at that last attack. Great recognition, Malaki Janine Marshana. We saw her with her force, her strength a while ago. Now on the off speed, and another service ace coming in for Signal HD. A much needed service ace, and now they're enjoying the lead here. Three serving one. Ceballo scoring two points in set number one. Viola again. Enas will go to Gonzaga, set back. Estranero on to Dakis. Kept alive by Tim Agno. Tubino pushes it. Chance for Black Mamba Army. Brunello was there. It's a push by Dakis. Tough angle. And Gonzaga faces it. Kasulam. Sumobra. Mm -hmm. Right header now on the part of Army. It's a good start, Malasa Signal HD. Showing some resiliency in set number two. Now you gotta have you gotta be happy for them, Ivy, especially after a rough start in set number one. Yes. Then Balse Pabayo sails out. Now it's five to one. Better show here for signal. You know, they have to take the opportunity now that it's Black Mamba Army who are committing errors. So, kailangan importante dito to you know, signal keep their composure and just avoid the errors on their part. 5 to 1, our score combination does not go over the net. So, another error coming in from Black Mamba Army signal. Capitalize. Medyo kabaliktaran ng nagita natin mula sa first set. Interesting how the Army Lady Troopers will respond to the call of Coach Kung Fu. Again, a lot of veterans in this yeah. one. And I think, you know, there's, uh, that's where it, there's a bit more pressure because knowing that, you know, you're a veteran squad, so there's, I think, more expected from them. That makes a lot of sense, you know, going up against a younger team mm. with nothing to lose, as right. we should say, the last part of the conference. And I think Siguro on, on the part of you know, being a more veteran team, lesser error is actually expected from you. Mm -hmm. Service error came in from Signal HD. Second point comes in for the Lady Troopers. Go on game of serving. It's Lanero. Back sets to Doria. Luna is back. Joveling on the attack. Kept alive by Signal. Angela gives it up to Gonzaga. Still saved by Signal HD. Good effort. Joveling again. Blocked by Takis and Doria to their delight. That's right. They were actually just waiting there. Could have been better if the ball was given to the outside hitter. But Rachel and Dakis. <laughs> you see her happiness going up against her former teammate. Oh, oh, bawi <laughs> We all saw in the pre-game interviews how happy they are just being with each other again. 72 Signal HD trying to tie things up. One set apiece. Rachel Antakis kept alive. Ding will send it to Tubino who pushes it. Ceballos on to Marciano and there's a whistle. It's going to go against Black Mamba Army. First technical timeout of set number two. Signal HD off to a great start. Hey, hey, hey. 
wala kayo. Ganun lang kasimple. Tapos na ba na isang set? Pinahihirapan niyo pa yung mga sarili niyo eh. Jovan and Gonzaga, POG last game with 11 points, told me that this journey in the bubble of the Army Lady Troopers is a one for the books. Nakausap raw niya si Cez Molina ng Petrogas at sinabi niyang papuunin daw nila to balang araw at sasabihin sa kanilang mga apo. At the end of the day, she also told Grimline to be mentally strong for the next few conferences and games. Dahil nga hindi lang daw to labanan ng katawan pero labanan din ng puso and mental strength. Let's get back to the game live from Ilocos Norte. Wow, thank you. I, you know, I thought Ivy that they were talking about you know Petrogas is gonna be in the semifinals. Good luck, Mrs. Molina and company. Mga apo na pala ang pinag-usapan nila. That's how far ahead. Yes. You know, they're thinking about it. But yeah, I mean, I think as for any athlete, you know, you really would like to get as much experience that you would look back to, you know, when you grow older. And I think itong setup that we have right now, this is really one for the books yes. in terms of, you know, sports history here in the country. Because it's really not easy, yeah, being in a bubble, having consecutive games, and you also have to remember that the bubble doesn't only happen during the tournament, but they also had a bubble prior yes. when they had to train. I wonder what the quality of the conversations that they have. <laughs> Sa gabi, di ba? Pagod na kayo, oh. tapos nasa beach. <laughs> like a heart to heart. <laughs> so, it was a long day. Uh. Yeah, you finished the game at what time? <laughs> <laughs> Great report by Aiden Sai right there. 93 hour score in favor of Signal HD. We'll try to, trying to tie things up one set of piece here. And Jovelin Gonzaga finding out the line at that time around. This is the last attack from Gonzaga. Walker saving too much space there. And Gonzaga giving us our spike of the set, brought to you by Duncan. The first time that we have seen that tonight so far. Marciano, wow, what power. Mm -hmm. Gonzaga on the other end, sends it over. Signal up by five. Janine again, off speed this time. Gonzaga, blockers were there. Middle, wow, great attack by San Francisco. Right, that's well done. And that's what the army needs actually, you know, more of these uh, quick plays. Giving, of course, signal less time to get back into position. Again, the variety of the attacks that helped them mm -hmm. so far. Kung ma-activate mo palalo si Tim Francisco, why not? Unfortunately, you know, these errors coming in, I think, the second set have been, you know, kind of heavy for right. the Army Lady Troopers. That's right. You know, because at this point, again, like I said, you're playing catch-up, so you really cannot afford, you know, to commit the errors. Jimmy Marciano and company looking to capitalize, up by five. They go to the middle, show it in Gonzaga, just hammering it home. And you really, you know, really beauty to look at in terms of how Army is doing all these combination plays. We don't see that a lot. Pero nakikita mo talaga how, you know, they confuse the blockers. And most often than not, when Army does these combination attacks, they are able to convert that into a point. They just have to take note of their errors. Mm -hmm. Attacking ngayon ni Bautista. That's another point of an attack for Army. That's right, on the hands of the blockers. Right now, the Lady Troopers slowly picking it up. That's all for Grania Musa. Mm -hmm. the only, only one blocker went up against Bautista. Lead down to three. Ayel goes to the running. Musa. Doveling is there. Bautista puts it over, kept alive. Dakis ngayon, and she will score. More aggressive attacks here now from Signal. And this is what we really need to see more.
more from them. Return and Dacus with our spike. This is it. brought to you by Duncan. Great to see her coming alive again. Coming off a growing strain. Two games back. She missed it against Creamline. Really, she wants to exit on a very positive note. Tough angle for Janela. Ball still alive. And Nas onto the run and gun. Good defense by both squads. Dak is from the back. She goes inside. And Captain IV responding to the call. That's right. And that makes it to the line. Great to see her celebrate. Lead back to five. Jovelin. Then Bautista. There's an hour coming in from her. Army answering back. Getting a point here. Eight serving 12. And Bautista start things off. Ayel on to Fiola. Set back. Ayel again on to Dakis. Oh, Rachel and Dakis fighting her groove. That's right. And she has been doing it at the back row. She has been infected there so far. She is so pumped right now. And this is the kind of you know energy that we are missing here yes. from Signal. And we've, we've not seen how it, this kind of energy in the past few games. And again, this is something that you want to build on mm -hmm. as you exit this tournament. You know, you want that good momentum coming in for the off-season, for the next conferences as well. Whatever you can think, no? I right, mean, from this right. I mean, whatever happens in this match, whether you win or you lose for either of these teams, I think what's really important here is that you played a good game. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the last thing that you would remember as you leave the, the tournament. Doria will score off an attack at the middle. Mentioned a while ago, one of the, the middles have been working all conference long. Rosa Doria, Julia Ipak, we're seeing them again come alive. Saniero with nine excellent sets so far, up by five. And Nas to Gimbal Sepabayo. Marciano on the tip, cannot be recovered anymore. Good blocking from Army. Serving 14, so do not let her lead. Nothing mm -hmm. as a 4 to 5 points. And so far, Signal has been doing a good job in keeping that gap mm -hmm. in the score. And that's on the serve. Gloria again. Bowie again. That's right. And that's the beauty of being able to give Estanero that first ball, a perfect receive. Because they can execute this. Activity, mm -hmm. effectiveness of the Estanero and Doria combination. Again, Rosin Doria is the second leading scorer of Signal HD. And Nas to Bunan. Sent back. Wow. Made up na yun. No. And don't look now. Signal HD sending us our second technical timeout. 16 to 10. Thank you. 
Signal HD coming into the second technical timeout up by six. Unfortunately, the service error for them. That's uh, Luke Manaluan, one of the fun, fun players of Black Mamba Army. If you're able to watch the bubble feature of the game, you can enjoy making it together in the bubbles of the game. Oshano sending it. Emnas and to Bautista. There's a whistle here called against Signal. Net violation error for the AT Spikers. Masakit. The error is coming in. Mm -hmm. Signal. That's right. That we're coming off from the technical timeout. So it started off with a service error. And then that net violation error. Again, that's one of the unfortunate things that happened to them in the beginning of the first set. And now it's a service ace. Mula kay John Bunag. John Bunag, we know how uh, strong her serves are. Yeah. The server, even back in her college mm. days, no? So UAAP, getting all those awards. Very crucial timeout here for Coach Shaq as he tries to stop the momentum. That's right, because that was three straight points coming off the technical timeout for the Black Mamba Army. Rachel Andak is talking to her teammates. Seeing her try to settle them down. They had a good lead. Now for Signal, what's important is to be able to give out a good first ball. Bunag again, serving. That time, goes outside. on the street, not looking particularly happy. That's a second service error for Army here in set number two. 17, serving 13, roasting Doria. Agno will send it. Hirap yun, but uh, still alive. Dakis! And that's gonna go outside. She's asking for a check. Yeah, she's calling for a check ball. I saw the way she reacted. There seem to be. Mm -hmm. She already celebrated. Yes. <laughs> boom, boom. Na. Unfortunately, we do not get the point. Marciano sending it over. Get the lie by Bunag. Bautista. Ayel will go to Dakis. He's jobbing in. Whistle here against Black Mamba Army. That's a violation against Emnas. Bearers coming in. Oh, it does a double contact, yes. 18, 14, Janine Marciano serving. Then, great net defense. Jovelin gives up a free ball. Estranero will go to Dakis. Good save. Sent over. It goes outside for the Army Lady Troopers. Signal HD back with a five point lead. So, uh, that was a good timeout by Coach Shaq. That's right. Signal closing in. Four points off attacks for Janine Marchand tonight. Jovelin on the push. Too long. So nothing going the way of Army at the moment. 
now they will call a timeout down by six points. Can this be the last chance to change momentum? Set number two. Very crucial here for Black Mamba Army, down by six points. 20 points down, they begin as a signal HD here in the second set. How important is that timeout, I think? Well, that, that definitely can break the momentum of signal, but more importantly for the side of armies for them to regroup. Mm -hmm. You know, kasi hindi mo nang pwede iasa na lang lagi na that timeout was, you know, well, well, that was not for them, but it cannot always uh, expect that that timeout would break the momentum of your opponent. Jen Piqueres coming in for Ben Emnas. Jovelin Gonzaga serving for the Lady Troopers down by five. Janela on the first ball running. Rania Musa will score. Seeing another option coming in for mm -hmm. Ayer Estranero, another middle. Daniel Musa coming off the bench in front of CSB. Here is a very prized product of FEU with a retired jersey. Service ace for Rachel Landakis. Good performance here from Signal, and you really have got to love the energy that the girls are uh, displaying here in set number two. Great, sir. John Bunag cannot recover that. Great to see Rachel very happy tonight. Tough set. Tough angle for the Army Leading Troopers. Lead is eight points. Signal HD closing in on a set to win. That goes outside for Rachel and Daffy. Sayang, no? They had right. a momentum. Right. That's a fifth service error for Signal here in set number two. And Bautista will proceed. He to seven. Fiola on the approach. Kept alive. Regalo para kay Rania Musa. Black Mamba Army losing their bearings. You can see them scrambling on the court. Great recognition, Mulaki Rania Musa. Certainly is enjoying the action. Eight set points. Para sa signal HD spikers. Ooh, another service error. That's a six for this set for signal. 24. A lot of errors mm. in this set. Team Francisco's turn. Miss receive, but the ball is still alive. Chance ball here. Gonzalez in the ball game. Marciano from the back. Atiging goes to. That was Gutierrez, and here's Fiola Ceballos. Rally, Joan Bunag sends it over. Janela was there. Ayel, middle. And that's gonna go outside signal HD. Performing very well in the second set, capitalizing on some errors. And some attacks working as well para sa kanilang koponan. Second set score, 25 to 17.
One set apiece for Signal HD and Black Mamba Energy Drink Army Lady Troopers. Set one went to Tin Francisco and Company. Unfortunately, they dropped set number two to the Signal HD Spikers. A lot of errors we saw mm -hmm. in that second set, Ivy. That's right. Tables have turned, actually. It is if, if it was a Signal committing the errors in set number one, it was now Army who was committing the errors and not able to recover. Meantime, Signal you know, did a very good job in maintaining the momentum and did not give opportunity for ARMY to get their bearings back. Rachel Andak is just coming alive. Service aces, attacks from the back row. Right. Great to see her perform. And here we can see the numbers for set number two. Signal this time leading in attacks with nine attack points. Both had the points off the block, but Signal did better in defending the net with two block points. And Signal this time had more aggressive services, three service aces as only opposed to one from Black Mamba. And we can see the numbers of the errors. Ito talaga yung make or break para dyan sa set number two. Eleven came of unforced errors for Army and nine for Signal. Both very costly mm -hmm. para dito sa dalawang teams. And I think these are very big numbers, ha? for errors. Especially that you score 25 points yes. to win a set. That's right. And you give up 11, almost half. That's right. Jovelin Gonzaga and the Army Lady Troopers looking to bounce back in this set number three. Again, Black Mamba Army, they are looking for win number four as they exit the conference. Signal HD naman looking for win number two. They, they're also trying to snap their six game losing skid. So definitely, that positive note is worth getting in their last match. This is the last match of the eliminations. Again, tomorrow at 2 p.m., we begin with the semifinals. Petrogas versus Streamline. And then 5 p.m., we have Chocomucho versus Cherry Figo. Mix Gomez, Ivy Remulia at your service for tonight on One Sports and One Sports Plus. And an error here coming in for the Lady Troopers to begin set number three. Definitely not a good sign for Jovelin, Gonzaga, and company. Miscommunication here. Now that miscommunication actually cost them set number two. We've seen a lot of broken plays where then, you know, they're not just sure who's going to go after the ball. Time around, Wilson Doria cannot get the ball over the net. Of that quick set by Ayel Estranjero. So we're all tied. One set apiece, one point apiece. John Bunag back at the service line. Bunag with the six points in set number two. Ayel on to Doria. Makakabawi ba? No more recovery. And they do. Doria once again for Signal. She has been doing very well for the HD Spiker, scoring six points in set number two. Two to one, our score, Roasted Doria. The 10th best server in the league. The running Ranya Musa goes outside though. Yeah. Tied again, so back and forth we go, Ivy. That's right. We get more aggressive now for both of these teams. And you know we saw early leads in both squads. Set number one, like nine to one in favor of the army. Set number two it was six to one in favor of Signal. So Palita and Janine Marciano scoring this time. And giving us our spike of the set brought to you by Duncan. Janine Marciano with the power, some off speeds. Another error comes in. The army will tie things up. So a lot of errors have been committed at the service line for Signal in set number two.
Joe Williams turn. Third serve. And here's Takis on the combination. Good combination play from Signal. We don't see that very often, but when they do execute one, it works well in their favor. Rachel and Takis with a spike of the set. Brought to you by Duncan, showing us the power. They have worked that uh, chemistry mm -hmm. all conference down with their new setter, Ayel Estranjero. Now it's another service ace from Rachel and Dakis. Have yourself a night. <laughs> Good serve from uh, Rachel. You know, Rachel and Dakis in the conference is the fourth leading scorer of Signal. She's never led them mm -hmm. in any game. Ceballos cannot get it over. Another error here. Lead back to one. Just a little bit short on that attack from Ceballos. Good save from Dakis. Game not going away for either of our squads. Piola Ceballos is in Kabawe. Kept alive. Chance ball. Estranjero on the 1 2. Recovery by the Army. Ayel running. Anya Musa. Good rally. Bunag ngayon. Estranjero on to Marciano. Ball against the Red Shirts. So three point now goes to Army. That's right. Jimmy Marciano, five all. Two straight points. Rotation error against the signal age of Spikers. So not the kind of violation you would like to commit. Now we're going to see Rap Rap Aguilar checking in for Viola Ceballos, one of the veterans of this. Signal HD squad. Bautista with the serve. Chance ball here for the Lady Troopers. And Nas goes to Tobino, inserted back in and making an impact. Good play there from Army. Boys Tavino giving us our spike of the set brought to you by Duncan, the leading scorer of the Army Lady Troopers this conference. She has led them in four games. 49 all and exit of Diggs. Aguilar. It's too long. That sends us to our first technical timeout of set number three. The Army Lady Troopers with five straight points. Back to our action, set number three, Black Mamba Army against Signal HD. The Lady Troopers with a three-point lead. Rap Rap Aguilar, Babawi Naman finding the back line. 
So now Signal just trailing by two points as we take a look at that attack from Aguilar. Great to see her find her groove, inserted in this set. Again, before that point, it was a 5-0 run by the Lady Troopers. Emnas sets it up onto Tobino, rejected at the net. Good block from Signal. Will spin Doria on your screen, number four. In terms of blockers in the conference. Lead is down to one. They're just exchanging momentums here. Ipa on the serve. Miss receive and retire. Good serve from Ipa. Gila Ipa, number five. It's a signal in terms of scoring. Gila Kinaya Don, Army Lady Troopers. And again, I'm loving the energy that I'm seeing from uh, Signal right now. Yeah, they, they have more aggressiveness, and I think that's helping, you know, to keep the momentum on their side. It's a big factor in volleyball, mm -hmm. my be enjoyment in yes. the court. I mean, we've seen games where in the, the energy we see now in Signal is not present, and those are the games that Signal were, was, were actually struggling. Again, Signal. With a six-game losing streak coming into this match, they want to change that. Aguilar and the regalo sent back here. Chance ball, Janela, back to Rap Rap. At the middle, Ging Balsi Pabayo, Janela was there. Chance ball ngayon, para sa Lady Troopers, Royce Tobino. Whistle at the net to go to the Army Lady Troopers. Either way, the point goes to Army. That was also a good down the line hit from Tabino. Where's Tabino was taken out after she started this match. They get chances to other attackers, but this time around they're calling for her number again because they're two points up in set number three. Over received. Aguilar sends it over. Enas to go back to Royce. Tobino again. One more try. Kept alive. Aguilar on the other end. Good recognition by Janela. Back row. Dakis this time. It won't work. That was a good rally. We've seen there. Good defense from both teams. Rachel and Dakis. Kanina, gumagana yung back row na yan. Just this time around, she apologizes to her teammates. Then again, her mentality, na narinig natin kanina, babawi agad as a team captain. Three straight points for the Lady Troopers. And now it's a service error. I'm serving 11, back and forth we go. Forty excellent sets for Ayel. As a new member of Signal HD. So sa mga batang manalaro, good shot. Tubino. Janela. They go to Marciano. And that's on to Gonzaga. A oh, good recovery from Army. Here, Katawag against Signal HD. Good effort, Mulasa Lady Troopers. Another net violation error the side of Signal. Oh, I thought the ball went down already on the Doria Regalo Kanina, mm. but uh, again, the recovery. Kabila, 11 excellent sets for 10 Emmas, up by 3. Estranjero back sets onto Aguilar. Chance ball. Ayel goes to Rap Rap. And Aguilar has been a big spark off the bench for Signal HD. That's right. He has been very aggressive in the attack. That has been her role 
All important for install, coming off the bench, try to provide and spark on the offense. Every started. That's right. And what, you know, but as, as a coach, that's what you would like. You know, but when you know uh, from the bench when they come in, they would deliver just like that service ace from Raparap Aguilar. Just like that, the lead is down to one. So good for it, IB. Uh, consecutive points for mm. one team. Babao yung kabila. Back and forth. King ball si Pabayo, kept alive by Junela. Chance ball here for the Lady Troopers. Emnas on to Tubino, sent back. Emnas again, Royce pushing it. Uh, mahirap na yun for signal HD. Good variation on the side of the uh, army attack. We've seen uh, Royce at the first time give a hard hit, this time a drop ball. That caught Rachel and Daki's off guard. I'm sorry, pa, si Royce doon mm -hmm. after scoring. Sanyero on to Daki's. There we go. Mabawi na managad. Team captain. Rachel and Daki's. Having a great night so far against her former teammate Jovelin Gonzaga. The last game of our eliminations in the 2021 PBL Open Conference. Service error here for Roslyn Doria. That would be the third for a signal here in set number three. Now it's Ate Ging's turn. Overseas. And that goes inside for the Lady Troopers. And that was Caleb and Emna. Great recognition mula kay Ben mm -hmm. In the first set, we saw her do those drops in the second ball. Sakto sa linya. Dakis on the fifth. Down by three. From Zaga, Zaga, from the opposite. Back to Rachel. And another point from Rachel and Dakis. Good cross court hit from Dakis. So it looks like yung groin strain na yun, eh, walang wala na talaga, mm. Ivy. Fully recovered. What a performance from Rachel and Dakis tonight. Lead is two. Enas back six. Off the block, Jovelin Gonzaga Babawe against her former teammate. And that sends us to our second technical timeout, set number three. Sixteen to thirteen, our score. Thank you for joining us here on One Sports and One Sports Plus. Black Mamba Army Lady Troopers against Signal HD. Big Gomez and Ivy Remulia at their service. Another error here coming in. You saw the numbers just a while ago. That's right. Pretty big numbers on the for the side of Signal. Twelve unforced errors. The timeout will be called by Coach Shaq. Just awful. A technical timeout.
Jovelin Gonzaga serving for the Army Lady Troopers up by four here in set number three. One set at least two tayo so far. And our last match of the eliminations and that goes outside. Again tomorrow, semifinals begins at 2 p.m. Petrogas versus Cream Line. 11 points for Rachel Ann Dakis off of eight attacks. Have yourself a night. Estranjero on the running Ipak. And no more recovery for the signal HD. But it's puntos the Black Mamba Army. Army now leading by four points. Serving 14. Nene Bautista, who is actually a swabber rece receptionist in the pandemic. Mm. Great to see her in action. Oh, a lucky break for Army. Another violation in the side of Signal. And that has hurt Signal so much in the set. And without those errors, I think they would have had a comfortable lead here in this set. 19 to 14 now. That has been the story of the match. I mean, the errors coming in. Mm -hmm. First set pa lang, nagita na natin. Back row, Mulake Dakis sending it over, and there's a hole in the middle found by Tim Francisco. Signal HD down by six. Crucial timeout here for Coach Shaq de Los Santos. want to break the momentum of Black Mamba Army, now is the time, mm -hmm. Ivy. That's right. And it's really important now for Sig that if you heard that word in the huddle and convert, talagang yun ang kailangan ng signal right now. They, they have the opportunities for the attack, but what they need is to convert those attacks into points. Joe Anduna, who started this match. And that's Chichi Cardiente, young setter for Signal HD. All of these players supporting their teams as we finish out the conference. Always nice to see them enjoying at the bench. Ceballos, a strong attack, kept alive. Tobino, great down the line hit. Right, another uh, point here for Army. Rice Tobino has been that steady. Source of offense, Melissa Black Mamba Army again, the leading scorer for their squad, number seven in the league. At the middle, Francisco again. So that's with a little help from the net. I saw her smile and her laugh as well. At hindi na napigilan ang momentum dito ng Army Lady Troopers up by 8 in set number 3. Ceballos. Tubino again. Naitawid. Estranero back sets to Ipak. A little bit behind the net. Sinobra doon. At uh, tumama sa net si Tim Francisco. But in a comfortable lead here for Army, they can still afford that error. A little bit too high this time by the uh, Army Lady Troopers. Ipak on the serve. One by seven. Tubino. Miscommunication right there by Signal, but the ball is still alive. Boys, Tubino will make them pay. Good cross court hit from Tubino. It's a luxury you know, to have a Royce to be yes. on your squad. 
Back-to-back -back NCAA MVP, three-peat champion in her day, si Royce Tobino. Again, all these great talents taking their skills here in the first and only professional volleyball league in our country. Tip over to no avail para kay Ging Balse Pabayo. Signal will get the point. Well, that was a difficult set. Malapit sa net. Signal HD still alive in set number three, down by seven. Over receive, regalo para kay Rustin Doria. Good serve from Mr. Now, Black Mamba Army will call a timeout to try to close this one out. So the Lady Troopers are two points away, but Signal, they are crawling their way back in. So this can still be closed out by Signal. Again, what's important is that they do not commit any errors and that they don't give more opportunity to Army para makapag set up ng bola. Six points down. Anything can happen, as we know. We're back with Ayel Estranero serving. And as we go back to Tobino, that's short. He was aiming for that sharp cross court. Well, that worked for her, a couple of points back. Unfortunately, the time around, did not get the ball over the net. Yel Estranero will serve 16 excellent sets for the youngster. Oh no, that was big. That gives Army the set point here for a third set. Can this be it for Ben Emmas and company? Sanero will go to Marciano, set back. And that is going to conclude set number three for the Black Mamba Energy Drink Army Lady Troopers. Taking it over to Signal HD Spikers. A little bit of a scare by the end, but they close this one out. They're up two sets to one. Set number three belongs to the Black Mamba Energy Drink Army Lady Troopers. Rap -rap, uh, Rap -rap Aguilar actually had some attacks coming in for Signal HD, but you know, with the leadership of a Royce Tobino, they were able to hold their ground and ultimately take the set. That's right. So it was actually a strong start for Army here in set number three. Uh, we've seen how they managed to recover from you know that. Uh, they had a lot of errors in set number two, so they were able to minimize that. I mean, they still committed those errors, but at least they minimized that, and they did not, it did not happen in the most crucial stages of set number three. We've seen also good rallies mm -hmm. in set number three 
A lot of good defense from both sides. And we have here the numbers. In attack points, it's still Army with 9 attack points against to 8 only of Signal. Again, Army did better at the net with 2 block points. But Signal at this uh, in set number 3 had more service aces. Made it a little bit difficult for, uh, for Army to set it up. But take a look at the unforced errors. And once again, this is what would really hurt you. You know, you're in, in trying to get the momentum. Pero you commit the errors. So sayang din yung mga nagagawang puntos. We talked about the Lady Troopers having 11 unforced errors in set number two. Mm. So giving almost half of the points right. in signal. Ito mas malala. 14, that's more than half. Obviously, that hurt the HD Spiders. So it's going to be interesting how they can bounce back here in set number four. Talking about Ayel, Estraniero, and company. Still looking for that positive exit as they try to snap their six-game losing skid. The Lady Troopers, on the other hand, are looking for win number four. Team Agno sends it to Tubino. He was inserted back in in set number three. This time around, it's game Balse Pabayo providing the offense. But the violation was called against Rosalind Doria. And you just mentioned about these unforced errors. No? Although this is still a point uh, from for army, but tingay nando na naman yung error na should if that attack had been kept alive, it would still go to army. And then a service aid coming in for Ben Emma on the mid receive. So this has been the problem now for Signal. Like I said, they have the, the movement is better in this game. They have better energy. And we've seen how much uh, more aggressive they are. It's just that they're not able to manage or to control these errors. And that is what is actually hurting them. Good thing for Janine Marciano. Her drop will work on that play. So that sets up Signal with the first point in set number four. Viola Ceballos. Start with this game. Good serve. And this will go to Jovelin. Tough save right there. Sent over by Junella. And here comes Marciano. And this will go back to Tobino. Set back at the net. Or by the net. And the point will go to Signal HD. That's straight into the net for Tobino. So two points. Nagsimula para sa Lady Troopers. Bawi naman. Back to back for Signal HD. Emnas. The push by Balse Pabayo. Junela. And to Marciano. Off speed ulit. Uh, a score. Same spot there on the defense of Army. That little area. Actually, has been left unattended in the army. Eh. Nakailang puntos ng signal. And good recognition by Janine Marciano. The lead is with the HD Spikers. Three consecutive from the squad. Janela. Here's Marciano again. Back to back for the leading scorer of Signal HD. And but I love again the energy that we're seeing here from the HD Spikers. After the two points in this fourth set, they're able to pick it up. Four to two, our score. And that's will go to the middle. The block by Rose Litoria. Well, I mean, we did say that it is our last match of the eliminations. And our two teams are certainly trying to make the most out of it. Especially it took Signal HD in the fourth set.
Coach Kung Fu asking his players to not let the lead balloon. Mm -hmm. That's right. You wouldn't really want to be the one playing catch up, you know. So as much as possible, kung kaya mo ng trim down or yung uh, ilapet ang score. And there's a sense of urgency there on the part of Coach Kung Fu. That's the pattern as well. Kusino ang nahuhuna at the beginning of the set. They tend to win it ultimately. And now it's a service A, so it's six straight points for Fiola, Ceballos, and company. Balce Pabayo to send it over. Estranero. They go to Dakis. Blockers were there. Doria. Tough save here. Chance ball for the red shirts. Estranero will go to Marciano. Good rally. To Dino on the off speed. Battle at the net. Does not cross. The point will go to the Lady Troopers after the 6 0 run by Sigma. Still, also violation there in the side of signal. Sabino on the serve. Dakis deflected. Ball up high. Gonzaga tried to go to the middle. Doria cannot get the ball through. Well read by Balsa Caballo, who had six points in set number three. Four serving six back to back points for Roy Stubino and company. Although it's a service ace here, para sa kanya. With that, having some words about the Rose Lindoria, who's about to serve in Sigma PhD. Down two sets to one, but they're up here, seven to four. Nas goes to the quick. Balse Pabaya kept alive. Back set. Marciano. Gonzaga on to Ging. And the blockers were there for Signal HD. Rachel Andak is leading the way for the Red Shirts. 8-4. to four. They have the advantage in set number 4. Tomorrow at 2 p.m., we will have the very first semifinals of the PVL as the first and only professional volleyball league in our country. We begin with the Creamline Cool Smashers and the Petrogas Angels at 5 p.m. Chocomucho versus Cherry Digo. Semifinals, best of three, no twice to beat. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be very interesting. The first ever championship of the PVL as a pro league. Estranjero, Turania Musa, jumping for glory. <laughs> that celebration was one of a kind. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Nine four. That's right. A good lead here from Signal. Talina, Jovan Gonzaga. Bautista set back. Middle, Balse Pabayo kept alive by Ceballos. Effort by the team captain. Emnas, combination, Gonzaga will score. Good combination play from Army. 
I wonder if the hair. Yeah, knows. she means business now. Tama nung serioso, serioso na. Ayel Estranjero can only do so much, and you can see Jovin and Gonzaga without a smile. Nine to five. Musa sends it over. And that's combination again. Two consecutive points from Gonzaga. And I think she means business. Yes. Yung yata talaga ibig sabihin ng pagtashi ng book. Back to back points. And again, still, no smile. Wala kay Jovi din Gonzaga. Six serving nine. Dakis, gusto bumawi sa kabila. And she will. Okay, okay. Former teammate, yes. now opponents, giving us a showdown. That was good recovery from Signal, but they still maintain the lead, 10 serving 6. Marshano on the serve. Bautista, tough angle. Back to back, sagut agad ang Signal HD. Strong performance now from Signal. And this is what we saw in the second set. Nasa five points yung kalam. Dun naglalaro ang HD Spikers. Gonzaga on the approach. Again, she will deliver. Again, so far for Gonzaga, that's 100% efficiency dito sa set number four. Institutions coming in. Jen Gutierrez and Jane Gonzalez. For Black Mamba Army, 7, serving 11. Coach Kung Fu trying to keep his front line to three attackers. Full front line pa rin para dito sa Black Mamba Army. Sanjero will go to Dacus. Set back, Janela. Good recognition. Gutierrez. Off the block, she will score. Good substitution for Coach Kung Fu. Yes, that's right. Mugot sa bench and then magde-deliver agad pagpasok. Then Gutierre is celebrating. Running, Rania Busa. Ooh, tumama. Then Gutierre touched the net, apologizing to Coach Kung Fu. Sa ano lang yun eh, follow through, no? She was trying to... She was trying to keep her balance eh. But her hand touched the net. Hindi ka rin kasi pwede mag-cross. That's right. Well, serving eight, Rachel Andakis. In double figures today. Here's Ceballos. He will score. Balik sa liba. There's the power coming in from Viola Ceballos, the product of Central Philippine University. 12 points, 9 attacks, 1 block, 2 aces for the team captain. Gonzalez, back row to Bino, to no avail. Signal, another point. Again, if you are black from the army, you would like to avoid those errors, especially if you're behind. Six points. Kalamangan ng signal. Service error coming in mula kay Rachel Andakis. Tony Bautista. It's her turn now. Again, on to the running Rania Musa. Janela will send it on to the other side. That's too long for Ceballos. They're asking for a check, but they don't get it. Black, arm, Black Mamba Army with two straight points. Ceballos sent back. So, it's right. Another error here for Signal. Although that kind of set could be difficult, yung galing sa likod, and it's really given out very high. 
Now this is a crucial timeout by Coach Shaq as we try to stop the momentum of the Lady Troopers. Signal HD Spikers regrouping after giving out consecutive points for us, uh, Black Mamba Army. They were up by as much as six points, Kanina. Estranjero will go to Rania Musa, Musa back. Ceballos. Gonzalez will go to Tubino. Almost a great save mula kay Junela, but it sails out. And now Black Mamba Army just down by two. Meluna being inserted in by Coach Shaq. She be the spark that Signal needs. Four straight points for the Lady Troopers. Meluna. Try to go to her again. But it's not go over the net. That was a bit difficult angle also for me, Luna. So Nene Bautista, nasusulit ang kanyang uh, services dito. Yes. Down by one. That's right, she's been there for quite a while. They need this to try to swing things back for their squad. Unfortunately, ayan. Broken by May Luna and company. Signal finally scores a point. Good off speed from May Luna. Ryan Musa serving up by two here. Trying to send us to our second technical timeout of set number four. Gonzalez will go to Francisco. Blockers were there. Here's Tobino. Kept alive by Marciano. Chance ball. Jane on to Royce. Save. No more on the pancake. And Royce to be no will score. Black Mamba Army still inching their way in. One point at a time. Sanero will go to Doria. Get the lie by Francisco. Back to Tobino. Oh, that was tough for Ayel Estranjero. She had to chase that ball. That's right. And you can see how strong the hits of Royce Tobino are. Signal is having a hard time to keep that ball in play. Royce Tobino has been a big, big part of this offense of Black Mambo Army. She started, then she watched the game no, from the bench mm. for quite a while. Inserted back in at set number three. And here she is. Patuloy ang production. Sometimes that can be useful also. Eh, na you're watching from the side time, so you can see exactly what's happening inside. Service error coming in for the Lady Troopers. 16 to 15. Signal with the lead. Back for your PVL Open Conference Action Live on One Sports and One Sports Plus tomorrow at 2 p.m. Number one seeded Cream Line Cool Smashers going up against the number four seeded Petrogas Angels to begin their semifinal series. 
best of three po ang ating ganap. Choco Mucho versus Cherry Tigo. They saw each other a while ago. But tomorrow will be a much different story as the playoffs begin. The championship hunt for the first uh, PVL trophy as a professional volleyball league. Gonzalez. They go oh. to the strong hit of Royce Tobino. But you gotta love that play from Army. Gonzalez is trying to throw that set over to Tobino. And with that, nobody in Gonzaga returns. Remember, as soon as that hair went oh. up, <laughs> the balls went down That's for right. Jovelin Gonzaga. Oh. The attack efficiency of Jovelin Gonzaga was 100%. With that hair. Yes. <laughs> Tied at 16. Over received. Royce Tobino making the pay. Royce Tobino has been on point so far here in this set. Back points coming in for the Black Mamba Army. They were down by six a while ago. They pulled off a comeback just before the second technical timeout. Hey Luna. Chance ball. Emlas will go back with the Bino. Hits it over. Get alive. Masano. Good effort by Black Mamba Army. Ball still up. Gonzaga with the push. Marciano again. It's close to the net. Still sent. Gonzaga. So her efficiency so far is... <laughs> yes, still 100% there for some Gonzaga. Here we go. The veterans of the Lady Troopers coming alive. Top scorers. Again, Gonzaga is number 8 in the team in scoring. Tobino is number seven. That's one of the things you mentioned at the beginning of this match. The first ball mm. is very crucial. That's right. Well, you can do a lot if you have a good first ball. And I think, you know, one of the one of the most difficult teams to defeat are the defense-oriented teams. Eh. You know, yung kahit palo ka ng palo, angat na angat oh. yung bola, mapapagod ka ng kakapalo eh. Ben Emnes and Black Mamba Army capitalizing against Signal. Up by two. There you go. The net defense working for the Lady Troopers. Royce Tobino really has been also consistent, especially in the second half of this uh, set. Three points coming in for her. Simula dun sa kanyang powerful hit mm. kanina off of the second technical timeout. Marciano. Does not go over the net. Things are looking good for the Lady Troopers here. So after being down by six, now they're up by four. A 10-point swing for the green shirts. Castanero will go to Marciano. The tip by Ipalse Pabayo, and there's a hole in the middle. He just tried to make do with that play, but uh, nobody reacted from the side of Signal. And Ati Gin just knows where to put it. Five points on Kalamangan and Black Mamba Army. Mosano with the push. And that's back sets to Gonzaga this time around. Does not go through. So that's the first error. Okay, Jovini. Now she's cracking the smile. Oh, it's Mumbai Vivas coming in the game. Can she be the 
spark for the Signal HD Spice. As they try to regain the lead again, they're down by four. This received. Mina Mayangat, the big balse pabay, he apologizes. Back to back points for the HD Spiker. Good serve there from Cepalios. And she was the one serving a while ago when Signal was getting uh, consecutive yes. points as well. Emnas, back set, Royce Tubino again. Well, it looks like they're not stopping na at this point as Pino this time coming from the opposite. I think that uh, Black Mamba Army would really want to make sure that they end this already. Late na daw kasi. And of course, you don't want any chances coming in for Signal. Right. They don't will have the momentum correct. whatever. Don't give them the opportunity. Eh. Bautista closing in and she will score. The veterans. They're more consistent now. So it was like a switch, no? Mm. Part of the Black Mamba Army. They were down by six early in the set. There's Tobino. Two points away from closing this one out. Here's Dakis. Has had a splendid night so far. Can she score again, though? Umay Diva sends it over. Emnas on to Gonzaga. Chance ball here. Where are they gonna go? Jovel in, and she will score at the back row. Good combination play here from Army. Finding that middle part of the back. Jovel and Gonzaga giving the match point for the Lady Troopers. Tobino serving. Dakis, and that's a check. Rachel and Dakis did miss her in terms of her scoring. Ganda ng nilalaro niya tonight. Most in Doria for Signal, down by five. Gonzaga. Dak is again, this time it's short, and that will do it for our game between the Signal HD Spikers and the Black Mamba Energy Drink Army Lady Troopers. The green shirts will take it in four sets after dropping set number two, down by six in set number four. What a turnaround. Final score, 25 to 19. As for the last game of the eliminations in the 2021 PVL Open Conference, it goes to the Black Mamba Army Lady Troopers who got set number one comfortably. They led 9-1, tuloy-tuloy. Set number two, signal nakabawi. But then again, they 
They hold their ground for sets three and four. Our best player of the game is with Ayit Insai. Good evening here with me is player of the game. Royce, he dominated sets one, three, and four. Ano yung nasa isip mo throughout the whole match given that this is your last game of the conference? Uh, ginawa ko lang talaga yung best ko para manalo yung team. Uh, lahat ng mga... Uh, mga uh, mga bola, basta patay, pag umangat, patay. Gawa para ang lahat, adjust lang at always lahat. Kain sa yung effort ng mga teammates, so kaya dapat gawa lahat ng paraan. Meron ka message for the fans, Royce? Uh, thank you po sa lahat ng sumusuport sa Philippine Army. Thank you sa General Santino, kay General Lapini Tiger na makasayat at sa lahat po ng pamilya ko dyan sa Buanga, sa Abel ng Pamilya at sa, ano, at sa Black Mamba. Thank you po sa lahat ng support. Uh, happy birthday, Ma'am Sai, and happy birthday, Pot, and happy birthday... Ja, engineer uh, uh, Tomas. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Congratulations, Roy. And the Black Mamba Army Lady Troopers, saludo kami sa'yo. Thank you, thank Watch you. out, PBL fans, for our semifinals tomorrow. So have that energy to shout from there. Thank you so much, Ai. Roy Stubino, she started the match. Then she was pulled out. The bench lang siya. She came in, back, set number three. Tuloy-tuloy ang kanyang magandang performance. That's right. And this is a very interesting game that we have here tonight. And uh, as expected, you know, both of this, these teams would really give their all. Kasi last game na eh, for, for the contest. And both would really like to leave in a good note. So Signal has been on and off. You've seen, but I think what really hurt them talaga dito sa game na to was the fact that they committed a lot of errors. But again, like I've mentioned earlier, the energy that we have seen with the girls, this is really a, the way that we would end up the tournament. That's what they wanted. Again, this is just the first, no? The first conference that we have as a pro league. Certainly a long way to go for the Signal HD Spikers. Off-season is coming. And uh, hopefully some more conferences come in the near future. Same goes for Black Mamba Army. They have four wins in this conference, but what do you see, no? Uh, are the things that these two teams can improve on, ID? Well, I think, like, for Signal, you know, just the, if they just uh, were able to minimize the errors and just to sustain yung kanilang momentum, that has been, I think, the difficulty for them. Eh. And, uh, of course, yung, uh, I think we've mentioned it quite a couple of times, you know, that, that the problem or their difficulty, the challenges that they encounter would also be not being able to maximize all the attackers at the front and improvement to the first ball would uh, solve that problem also. And for Black Mamba Army? And for ito kasi the Black Mamba Army, you know, they've been together for a very long time. So ito yung talagang, I think, nakakaamuyan at yung mga to eh. So it's really more of because we, we haven't seen them for quite a while participate in a you know, competitive tournament. So, and uh, again, siguro yung setup din dito has somehow has taken a toll also on these players. But uh, see additional or new faces in the, the lineup for Black Mamba Army, this could also mean, you know, um, better performance from the team if we see them in the future. And we're certainly uh, welcoming, you know, those better performances in the future in the next conferences. Again, we're very, very happy to see all of our athletes in one bubble. Mm -hmm. at the, that was one heck, this is one heck of a month, I right. do know. And we surely missed volleyball. Six game days a week. We're glad to see them perform at the top level. Again, as a pro league, everyone's here. And more to come as well. More talents are coming in the PVL. We got to see the Signal HD Spikers led by the names of Rachel Dacus. Janine Marciano, you know, their leading scorers, Josin Doria, May Luna, and Noriel Ipak. On the other end, Roy Stubino, Jovelin Gonzaga, Valse Pabayo, and Joan Bunag, the leading scorers of Black Mamba Army. We'll see them again in the next conference. And tomorrow, semifinals begin for our PBL Open Conference. Streamline versus Petrogas will begin at 2 p.m. And then Chocomucho versus Cherry Tigo at 5 p.m. Best of three po ang ating semifinal series in the first and only professional volleyball league in our country. We thank you for joining us here in the last elimination match in the 2021 PBL Open Conference. On behalf of our director, Ode Ocampo, our executive producer, Malu Neri, I can sign my partner, Ivy Remulia. My name is Nick Combs. Maraming maraming salamat at mabuhay ang bawat atletang Pilipino.